All right, here's the front of our beautiful school. 70% of the building material is actually recycled, so that's really cool. There is a thought out there that high-performance buildings cost more money. We were handed budgets and we were mandated to stay within those budgets to get a high-performance building, and, and that's what we did. This ice actually cools the air that runs through our school. We run it at night so that it uses the less peak time for electricity. We have a moral imperative to be fiscally responsible, to educate the children for an ever-changing global economy and looking beyond the future. The Sunny Boy device tells us exactly how much electricity these solar panels are giving us at this very moment. It's a wonderful, wonderful building because everywhere you go, there is sunshine. These humongo windows let a whole bunch of natural light come in. It absolutely impacts the learning inside the classroom and just the general attitude of the students and, and the faculty. That's my interpretation. We've only had two years of student data on how we perform on the state assessment, um, and our students are high performing. Whether they come to us gifted or whether it's been our facility that's helped them, it's going to be really hard to separate that out. So it is a very positive, positive place to be. The lights are controlled by two sensors in our classroom. Taxpayers are thrilled because we haven't wasted their money. We can also dim the lights. We save more than $100,000 a year in utility costs, so that's hard to ignore. It's not just the building. It's not just the brick and mortar. It's everything that goes on inside that building. When you open the window, the sensor turns off the heating. And if you're really quiet, you can hear it when you shut the window. We're saving money, these buildings are healthy for people. I wouldn't build buildings any other way. We really can't afford not to build buildings like this.